New York City. On May 24, 1883, the towering Brooklyn Bridge was officially opened to the public in a celebration that drew national attention and marked a monumental achievement in American engineering. The ceremony was presided over by President Chester A. Arthur and New York Governor Grover Cleveland, who led a grand procession across the bridge as cannon fire echoed and crowds erupted in jubilation. Spanning the East River and connecting the once separate cities of New York, Manhattan, and Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Bridge stood as the longest suspension bridge in the world at the time, with a main span of 1,595 feet. Its construction had taken 14 years, plagued by tragedy, delays, and immense technical challenges. The visionary behind the project, German-born civil engineer John A. Roebling, died in 1869 before construction began. His son, Washington Roebling, took over the endeavor but suffered debilitating illness from working in pressurized caissons beneath the riverbed. Despite being confined to his home, he continued to supervise the project with the aid of his wife, Emily Roebling, who became a vital intermediary between him and the on-site engineers. On opening day, more than 1,800 vehicles and an estimated 150,000 people crossed the bridge marveling at its Gothic-style towers, massive cables, and breathtaking views. The bridge symbolized not only the union of two cities, but also America's growing industrial might and engineering prowess. The Brooklyn Bridge was hailed as the eighth wonder of the world and quickly became an enduring icon of New York. Its opening transformed transportation, commerce, and daily life in the region, anchoring a new chapter in urban connectivity.